Wow, hey, it's you. What are you doing in Bitter Springs? Hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. These will be a big help. Thanks. Stay safe out there. I really appreciate those books. Are you kidding? The supplies in this are going to save lives. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. You're bringing me these supplies saved a lot of people. Well, still, thanks again. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Oh, hell. What is it now? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hotspot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Disappointed. We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Hey, you're a damn fine soldier, and word on the grapevine is that you're already some kind of hero. You got yourself a deal. Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. Thanks. I only wish some of the soldiers under my command would share some of it. Yeah, whatever. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. And how would you propose accomplishing such a goal? Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. 
Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal, you should look elsewhere. As you wish. I'm sure the optimal solution will become apparent to you in time. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow, parochial view of in charge, then yes. It's a no. Are we done? It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kinda scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. Okay. Toodaloo. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before, but I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. I'm not supposed to know this, but I hear they're dispatching elite ranger units from California to deal with the Legion. I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. 
You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Yeah, what about it? I told you, we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. Okay, I'll be here if you come to your senses. Oh shit, here comes the brown noser. What do you want? Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know? I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I ought to give him a shot. What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. Shit, honey, it was this or the fiends. And fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Like I said, you get the juice, we'll cut loose. Whatever. Right. Wow, the big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? Yeah, what about it? I told you we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. You're the boss. Okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Any suggestions? You heard the lady people. Get focused. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Right. Exhale, squeeze. Focus on the shot. Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. Hello? 
Wow, the big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. After the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. I'll line them up. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're all set. Right, easy enough. One, two, three. Solid arc. Check. Lob them up and over, people. Hold the grenades for groups, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. to become extraordinarily well liked by the top brass you should exploit that for your own gain wherever possible in a strictly official capacity no hmm you're trying to appeal to my ego i must admit it's an effective tactic all right i'll help but only because i want to see if it's even possible I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Y'all sure are a big ol' hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I didn't expect someone as famous as you to be here. Please tell me you're here to help. I'll be honest. The Legion has me worried here, but I think I can spare some soldiers. Consider your request granted. Watch yourself out there. Yes, what is it? Well, you have been a great help here, and with the saboteur dealt with. Yes, I think we can spare a few men. Consider it done. Bye.
Evening.
Papa says, cut off the head and the snake will die. I guess the chairman's days are numbered. Anything else I can do for you? Again, thank you. This is a huge help. We do have some spare rad X in the supply tent. That might work. Thank you. Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. I can't offer much of a reward, but know that the NCR is very grateful. That's very generous of you. I appreciate it.